Prophet Dawood, David wasalam, listen to this lesson. You know, he was a very young boy. Have you read the Bible and you heard of David and Goliath? Some of you read that? Well, in the Quran, the Quran tells us about someone by the name of Talut and Jalut. Talut is Saul. King Saul. The Quran tells us that. Jalut is the Arabic word for Goliath. Very interesting lesson for people who think they're arrogant and they're proud and they're big and they're self-sufficient. When it's King Saul, Talut, go check Surah Baqarah, verses 249, 250, and 251. Cutting it short in the few seconds we got. And he was taking his army and the people, they were believers and Goliath, Jalut was an unbeliever. He did not believe in God. He mocked God. He hated God. He criticized God. He thought he was a giant and his armies, they can walk over everybody, walk over everybody. Don't have that mentality, my brothers and sisters. You know, a lot of us think our degree, our house, our position makes us bigger than other people. Don't fool yourself. That's why Allah gave us these lessons in the Quran, in the Bible, in the Torah, in the Psalms. Yeah. Very interesting dua. I'm going to cut it short. But in this verse 250, when Saul and his people were going from the Quranic lesson point of view, they knew who this Goliath was, Jalut. And they know he was dangerous and he was deadly. But they had to go in the path of God and fight falsehood. And they recited this dua, chapter 2, Surah Baqarah, verse 250. Rabbana afrig alayna sabra wa thabbit aqdamana wa ansurna ala al kafirin. You guys remember that dua? You hear that all the time, yeah? That's what they said. They put their trust in God. And they said, Afrig alayna, O God Almighty, pour unto us the quality and the ability of patience, steadfastness, as we go in the path to face Goliath, Jalut, wasabbit akdamana, and strengthen our feet and our footsteps and make us firm as we go to face Goliath. Wansurna ala al kafirin. Help us, Ya Allah. Help us, Ya God Almighty, against people who dislike you and they are disbelievers. And I'm going to cut a long story short again. I'm just cutting it. Within the whole process, King Saul was a Goliath when they meet Goliath. He said, uh-huh. In those days, these people used to like to combat with someone personally. So he said, whom do you have that can face me and fight me? So King Saul said, Jalut said, Bible says Saul, Quran says Jalut, um, Talut, that's the name. He said, any one of my soldiers, anyone amongst you here who would like to face Goliath, I will give you my daughter's hands in marriage. They got a little young boy here. He got up and said, all right, I will challenge Goliath. Who was that? David. Dawood. Little boy. Young boy. Goliath looked at him and said, are you tired of living? I will destroy you. Are you tired of life? What is wrong with you? And he laughed and he laughed and all his armies laughed at this little boy who was just a young guy still. David. Prophet David. See, that's why we must read the Quran and get lessons. Don't just mimic in Ramadan and just read, read and don't penetrate and get the meanings penetrated into our hearts. David said, I will take it. And Saul was going to give him all the armor, weapons, and the whole nine yards to fight Goliath. This is not a story. Eh? This is a Quranic lesson. It's a lesson in the Bible, the Torah, and the Psalms. Remember that. The Psalms was revealed to David, the prophet. And David said, no, 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 no. I can't handle all those big things on me and shield and armor. I can't handle sword. Because he was a little shepherd boy. All he had was his slinging shot. He said, that's what I could handle. And when Goliath told him, you're nothing, I'll knock you off. What has happened to you? 
You know what David told him? According to Muhaddithin and Mufassirin, he said, I will face you in the name of Allah. I will face you in the name of God. And I will prove to you that your sword has no power. But Allah, God Almighty, is the most powerful. And in the name of God, he will destroy you. And he took a little pebble. He took a thing in short, little thing, not no big sophisticated fireworks, you know. And he shot it at Goliath, this big giant with all his armies, and knocked him out. And when he knocked him out, he fell flat with this little pebble. And then David, peace be upon him, went up to him, took his sword, and slay his throat. And said, you kill yourself with your own sword. See what he did? All the big Goliath thought he was. He died from his own sword. So sometimes our own wickedness, our own plots, our own scheme, our own falsehood can be the means that will destroy us.